with the one and only Sarkodia who's in the building. And um, hey, here at the Peter Parker Show, you know, we do it live and we go mad. But today it's going to be beautiful because, you know, we got like how many people we got in here? Man. Okay, we got like 225. So, hey, if you're in the room and you like, you know, you like to have uh, some of your friends join in on the conversation, make sure you're paying five or ten people so they can come in here and we can keep this thing blowing up, right? And also, everybody's going to have the opportunity, uh, you know, to come up on stage if you want to ask a question because this is an AMA where Sack said, ask me anything. So, you know what? I'm going to start the show and say, welcome, Big Sark. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, brother. Bless you. It's a blessing. I appreciate <laughs> having me on board for the first time. You know, I saw on Twitter, I just saw on Twitter somebody tweet, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, you, you're not, you're not a, a Clubhouse user, so yeah. I mean, uh, but hey, it's beautiful to have you here, Bless man. You, Thank you so much for having me. And you know what? Man, I've been, um, so obviously I knew we were going to have this conversation. I thought, hey, let me check out my man and see what he's been doing. And, you know, the numbers are absolutely crazy. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I thought 105 awards, 100 and, well, over 197 nominations for awards. So that was a question that I think, you know, somebody was asking. Somebody said, so, hey, do you, what award do you think eludes Sack the most? Which one do you think he really, really missing and, like, wishes he won? You know, honestly, um, so I always hear the numbers from either the fans or for from someone like you doing your research. So sad, even myself, I can't keep up. I have no <laughs> idea what the numbers are. What did you say it was? 100 and what? I think 105 awards. 105 awards. And about 190 right now. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But um, honestly, I do the music for the fans. So I wouldn't say I don't, I don't appreciate awards, but... It's not like a main focus for South Africa. It's about the music. But if I should say something, all meant something to me because it was because of something I did. But I can say that VGA made, that was, that was last two years, right? For mm -hmm. the artists of the decade. Right. That reminded me how long I've been doing this. You know, for myself, I bet I, I'm just working, right? I had, I've been nominated for the artists of the decade. I'm like, it's been oh, 10 wow. years in the spotlight. Exactly. Right? And I was with, people that I thought was also, um, I think I had Samini in there, a few artists, Samini has been working hard. Actually, I met Samini once at a friend's house, but I was all okay. okay. Yes, okay. 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 So taking yeah. that, I think that, that meant a lot, because um, especially being an MC, it's hard to keep it for even two years, you know, so to keep that mantle for 10 years, I just looked back that night and went like, okay, I, I think I need to pat myself on the back. And of I've course. Done, I've done extremely well. So I would say artists of the decade, that was that was a great one for me. Yeah, beautiful. And you know what? It's like uh, it's like anything else. You know, very inspirational story. I mean, that was part one of the reasons or one of the things that exerted influence on me to wanted to have this conversation with you because I wanted people to see the journey because sometimes you know you, you know you see the music videos and you know you hear the songs in the club and, and so on and so forth mm. and i wanted people to really understand the journey and to understand like how you excel from you know a, a, almost an impossible position yeah. to be able to become like an international superstar so what was like the drive and and the motivation for you that, that that's the part that you know i want you to share the drive and the um i think as a person i hate to lose that is one so I know myself that I'm not gonna settle for or give up and go like, this is too hard, I would like to stop. I know myself that I'm the type of person that I hate defeat and I would like to prove a point and make sure that I win. And whatever I say, I make sure that I make it happen. That is one. And um, also the fact that actually people genuinely care, you know, so if you're doing anything, you don't have consumers, customers, or people that care about it, sometimes you can be inspired because you look at the, the reaction when you do stuff. So, right. um, just speaks for itself. You see how many people are on board right now. That yeah. should tell you that people actually care. So, yeah, actually, uh, it was, yeah, it, it was, makes it makes you want to do more. So for for the ten years, I was just literally having fun, making sure I keep my mind right. Don't um, allow people or things or words or what people feel get into what I see because I see a bigger picture. And until I get there, 
which I don't I don't know if I'm gonna ever get there because every stake feels like there's more that you could do. So yeah, basically just people that care and also me not the type of person that gives up easily. So these two, but I always give it up to Sack Nation. You know, yeah. they keep me on my toes, they make me feel like we care, we deserve an album, we want your tracks, we want you to rap. Can you give us a freestyle? Sakura, they will love your hairstyle, we love what you're wearing. Anything from Sack Nation keeps me wanting to Shout out to Sack Nation. Sack Nation, yeah. So I think they keep me going and um yeah, thanks thanks to God for creating me as a person who who doesn't like to give up naturally. So that also plays part. See. It's that, you know, shared determination that's yes. what makes it happen, you know what I'm saying? And, and actually, you know, so here's the other discovery that I made, which was really interesting, and a lot of people would know this, but you're, some, you're a motivational speaker, because mm -hmm. I actually found out that back in 2016, yeah. you visited Harvard Business School yeah. and actually gave a speech, yeah. which was quite incredible. Mm -hmm. how, was that, how was that experience? Um, I think people take you for how you present yourself, um, I don't intentionally present myself in a certain way. I think just me being Michael, I won't even say Sakure, me just being Michael attracts certain type of people because my presentation probably in the eyes of the people to see somebody that they can look up to, somebody uh, they could learn from, somebody that can inspire them. So I don't necessarily try to inspire or try to motivate, but apparently I come across that way. So I had a mail from the students in, in habit that they wanted me to come and share my story because people are uh, people really want to know as you just asked how yeah. you were able to do this for a very long time yeah. and especially having no backing behind you and still being able to sell through this very difficult industry so they wanted to know you yeah. know what's in the mind of Sarko they was in the mind of Michael how are you able to do this for a long time and yeah. um, I was honored when I got the mail and yeah we flew out there sat down with them. I think the video was out on YouTube. No, that was, that was really awesome, actually. I was, I was thinking, hey, you know, kids, you know, watch this, you know, like an inspirational talk. And it was actually about the art of the hustle. Yeah. That's what I loved about the topic, you know, like, and, you know, can you give us a little breakdown about the art of the hustle? Yeah, so I think that was, um, it was, it was the art of the side hustle. So the side hustle, you're, that's yeah, it. So you're, you're hustling, which whatever that you're doing, that you need something to back it up. You need stuff on the side. So you have side hustle. So just in case your main hustle doesn't go according to how you want it to go, you still have something to rely on. So I was just telling them about, especially for me, um, there are other stuff that I don't put out as soccer there, as Michael that I'm into, mm -hmm. just in case, as much as I love music, uh, and I believe in music. I actually hate when people meet you and you go like, I'm a musician, they ask you, and what? I'm like, no, that's a full hustle, actually. Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't hurt for you to have different streams of income. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, I went there to have a conversation mm -hmm. about, yeah. Okay, hey, so, the other thing, um, and hey, if you in the audience, you know, uh, just to reset the room, you know, welcome to the Peter Parker Show, and I'm your host, Peter Parker Jr. And up on stage with me are other two moderators, Sub Blue, an artist, and also my homegirl, Mary Spiel. Hey, yo, what up, Mary? How you doing? What up, Sub Blue? You guys still here? What's good? Yeah. How you guys around. Um, You know, I know we had like a little technical earlier, but, you know, I hope you guys stick it with us. We ain't got no problem working out, you know. Clubhouse, man. I do this all the time. But hey, so we welcoming, you know, Sakura to Clubhouse for the first time. So give me a big, you know, Clubhouse welcome. If you like what we're doing, follow the Greenhouse at the top. Uh, that's the Peter Parker Show. And also you make sure you follow all the moderators right up here on stage because they're making things happen. So back to the conversation. Um, I know, oh, one last thing I should mention is, uh, I know we have some people who've raised their hands, so we're gonna bring you up on stage and you're gonna have an opportunity to uh, ask a question. If you wanna tweet about this, use the hashtag, the Peter Parker Show, hashtag Sark Cody, okay? Um, so, Big Sark, um, yeah. one thing that I've been dying to ask you, that was like um, the motivation behind the Adonai song, because obviously, that is like one of you know one of your greatest hits that you've you know you've worked on. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you know like from what you were telling me how you always challenge yourself to always be better or do better than whatever record you said before. Yeah. That is kind of like a benchmark for you. But you know, can you tell us about you know like the inspiration behind that song because it's, it's quite huge. I think I heard it in other languages and so on and so forth. I thought yeah. this is this is huge. I always give thanks to other night because um, definitely. For every artist, there's always going to be that one work 
that sticks in the minds of the masses when they mention your name. Few artists get that, you know. Um, I think there are different types of artists. We have artists who sell the image them themselves. You know, people are into them. A little bit into the music, but they're more into them as a character. Mm -hmm. We have artists that push music, it's just the music. So people love the music. They don't necessarily care too much about the artist. And we have few artists who have both the music and them as, as, as you know, person or whoever they are. Um, so a few times you have the two sides, people loving you, the artist, and you having a big record. My career has been tailor-made for people who believe in Sakura and believe in the story, who saw me from day one till now. So I build it organically and they join, they read the story and then they join. And I'm super comfortable with that, you know, because I do shows and I have only Sakura Nation in the building. Now, Adonai came in as a song that didn't just make me and my fans. It's, it's a song that was supposed to be in the world. I was just lucky to be chosen to be the one that uh, it was going to come through. Right. So um, I think I wrote that song a couple of years back. I was by the ocean in Nungwa. I really remember uh, hearing the waves. I don't know how, how come that melody came. Uh, so we've been one, yeah, many, you know, just, it just came like that. Yeah, I, I, I know the feeling because, yes. you know, like, I, I, you exactly. know, as a songwriter, you know. So it came, um, I recorded the first version, which was like a faster version, but I always knew that a song deserves some slow tempo so you can feel the emotion of what I'm saying. Um, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I think one day I went to the studio, um, shouts to Street Beats. So while I was entering on the I think on the hallway, I heard the beat, this, the Adonai, the, the, beat, the yeah. Adonai the people yeah. know now. Mm -hmm. So I heard the beat in the hallway and I said, this is great. I hope it's not, it's nobody's song. <laughs> so I got in and he was fresh, like finishing the, the beat, beat yeah. for nobody. He was just playing it. Then I sang the song and it's just perfect. 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 It's magical because, um, I, I think I've said this story before, but I can share it again. So apparently Castro was not talking to me, I didn't even know. Uh, apparently he was mad at me at that time. So uh, I was trying to get through to him so we can do something, but I think he was always giving me excuses, which is so not him, mm -hmm. but I didn't, it didn't click that he, we had issues. Right. So the day that I was at the studio when I heard the beat and I was talking about this beat is nice and this is that, there he comes and walks in. After a very long time, me yeah. trying to get it was meant to him. Exactly, so he got in, um, had a bit of attitude, that's my brother. <laughs> um, and me, I'm a person that I don't feed off um, energy that I feel like is not right. So I have a way that I can channel the energy. So I see what you're bringing, but I'm, I'm a very funny person if you know me. So, and he's funny as well. So I know how to make him laugh. <laughs> Started cracking some jokes and he was laughing and I said, yo, listen, you're here and I want you to listen to this song and tell me what you think. As soon as I sung the melody, I think that was what brought us back to our friendship. Wow. Um, he wow. went into the studio, he went into the booth, sorry, uh, sang it from, you know, top, and then I also did the verses. And then we had Adonai. And funny enough, uh, my team didn't really like the record. You know, Imagine it was, that. It was just me that I saw something that nobody else saw. So I was feeding up their energy. So I didn't really promote Adonai. I tweeted once, literally. I wow. never said anything about the song. So just one tweet. Wow. By the time I realized it's the Adonai we have today, which it's like worldwide. There was no like mechanism behind it trying to push it here and there. There are certain songs that I do that and doesn't even get that mileage. Yeah. But Adonai literally it became just, one of the biggest yeah. songs in the world. Well, yeah. I mean, at least. No, no. nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to date, about over 80 million views on YouTube and not to mention the other streaming sites. But yeah, um, yeah that was a really cool record. And obviously, like the aftermath of um, um, our, brother. You know, our brother, you know, disappearing and you know, that's uh, still forever being mystery to us, but, you know, we hope wherever he is, you know, he's in a good place. Um, yeah. And then, you know, not to keep uh, things somber, but also to bring it back to, you know, when was the moment? I mean, would you say Adonai was the moment when you thought, wow, you know, now they hear me? You know, you know, because I think, you know, like there's, there's a point in every artist's, yeah. you know, where you, you know, you, you know, when you, especially when you gradually, you know, going up and then there must be a moment, mm. you know, for, you know, the, the, the artists of the, your caliber, there must be a moment where you thought, wow, th you know, this is it, you know, it's happening. Mm. At this point, it's going to be hard for me to have an ultimate moment because um, I think 
as a person, mm. as I said in the beginning, I like to push myself. So that's a highlight. I will not take that out. Mm. So right. there's been moments where, let me take it from when I started. So when I started writing rhymes in the room, the first moment to highlight that made me feel like what you're, what you're asking me right now yeah. was me going on radio to do a freestyle. That was Adam FM. Wow. And people calling in and I killed when I say killed, I mean rap. <laughs> so, <laughs> for everybody who's listening, we're not killing anybody. Yeah, so it's, it's rap battles, and I won for like, you know, getting like 20 something people every Saturday. So I had to like have, have rhymes for every Saturday. So that was a highlight. Then I had my first single uh, on the radio, which is Baby featuring McGee's. That was a highlight as well. Right. Um, I had a couple of hits that year that felt like the biggest moment at that point. Right. I won Artist of the Year, two, five awards that right. year. That was a highlight. I thought that was it. Um, then you go kill me. That was as that Zonto wave came in. Right. Uh, that, exactly. That's something I and that was you. a highlight. And me going out to sell out shows here in O2 Indigo and doing the Apollo in the States, that was a highlight. Then um, BET comes in. That's a highlight. I remember the cypher. Exactly. Yeah. The cypher. That, that, was, that was pretty so, ill. So I won the award and I did the cypher. So myself and um, Whiskey took the award. We had to share that. Yeah. That was a big highlight. Then um i think a year or two two years ago i went to take the oh so i took the mtv awards that was also a highlight then i came back with the b to hip-hop awards for the best international flow that's a highlight um adonai definitely is a highlight totally sonically when it has to do with music i've still not been able to talk adonai which um i don't have a problem because it's still my song <laughs> <laughs> it's different if it's somebody else's song and i have to compete it's my song i'm competing with myself and i don't really care if i don't top that because it's still my song and it's still a great song that it keeps going on people yeah, and yeah. Uh, sometimes it's I, just, I, I told you i heard it like uh some some different languages exactly like, people are trying to like yeah, do their own yeah, their version, own, yeah, vers, ver, yeah. version of it yeah. so yeah that's one of the highlights but i, I don't know if i'm supposed to say that was it. I think I've gone past the highs. Yeah. You know, um, at this point, it's just me keeping the fans happy, still growing the fans. All right, all right, all well. We're back on the Peter Parker Show, and I know, I believe we do got a few speakers right here on stage, so we're going to go up to the first person in line, and that's my man, Angel. What's up, Angel? Where you at? How you been? What's good? Hi, 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 hi. I'm here. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. So he's up here. So now I want to say it again. I really love him. I'm, I'm grateful for all he's done for me. You know, I had tons. Well, of he's right here on stage, so you can talk to him directly. So I, I had tons of questions to ask, but like you know, the aura around him. I've forgotten anything I want to ask him right now. I just want to say I love him, and he's the best. No one comes hey. close. The whole world. Bless you. Exact. The whole world, eh, wow, eh, God wow. bless you. Let me shout, pa. I appreciate oh, it. <laughs> sack, 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 sack. Bless you. Okay, Angel, man. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for coming up on stage and you know, like uh, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate. I'm grateful. Uh, did, did, you, did you actually have a Did you have a question? Did you have a question? I had a lot. I've forgotten all of them. <laughs> oh, you forgot. Okay. All right. Okay. I tell but you I'm what. Grateful. So, I like this. <laughs> okay. I tell you what we're gonna do. Okay. So we, we, we'll keep it moving along and we'll move you back into the audience. But if no you do problem. think about your question later, you know, you can come up and you can ask that question. Does that work with you? All right. Thank yes, you for joining us, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what up, Desmond? Yeah. Desmond, how you doing, my man? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Man. Where you at? Where you at, Desmond? I'm in Kumasi. I'm safe room. You in Case Town. Case Town. That's my dog. That's my dog. What What's the weather like there, man? Oh man, it's it's just normal weather here. Yeah. No wind is blowing in there. Oh, nice God. breeze, huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, you you up on stage, you know, right here. You know, the the king himself is sitting right in front of me. So you got a question for him? Yeah, boss, I have a question. I have two questions for you actually. Now, okay. First question: What do we expect? The no pressure album. How is it going to be like? It's going to be pop or a blend of hip hop and Afrobeat? <laughs> And also, I want to ask you if you ever join a major label like this, uh, Atlantic Records, the, the big labels, will you ever join them or are you going to stay solo to, to the end of your career? Mm. Yeah. That's a great question. That's a, that's a great question, man. Way to go, Desmond. Okay, so, sorry. Yeah, so the first one, the first one he wants to know about the sound. 
on on no pressure um so i think no pressure for a while black love was which peter was was part of black love <laughs> exactly so black, black love was more afrobeat sweet great music for lovers you know the, the sweet side so if anybody knows sakuri i'd like to switch it up a little bit no pressure definitely has you know some hip-hop dominating the, the project and then um obviously i still have to give the masses something to listen to and um all genres. I think I do my body of work to to appeal at least to a lot of music lovers. People who don't like too much of hip hop can have something on there. But at this point, I can say hip hop is dominating the percentage on on no pressure. And um, with the label situation, I think it depends. I've I've been independent for a very long time, and anybody who has done stuff independently for a very long time and um, organically grow is really hard when you're involved in somebody else. So it has to make sense. If I was coming in with nothing. Um, the conversation will be a bit different. You know, if you're coming in with something, then it has to make sense to you. And that is what um, I, I'm looking out for. I'm not necessarily waiting for somebody to sign because I'll, I'll work regardless, but I wouldn't rule that out. But it, it comes with a whole lot. You know, I've had offers, I've read through contracts, and as much as the fans will be happy and as much as I would do big moves for them to be proud of, mm -hmm. I need to think about myself yeah. uh, long term because I can't just say i want sack nation to be happy so i just have to go and do that yeah. I'm, I'm, I, ha I have to take it on myself so um if a deal makes sense which i'm about to close some few things on on, on no pressure yeah. which it makes sense is as more of you do distribution based on you know the project you have your publishing so that you have you know a few things to secure yourself okay. i think there's ways to maneuver how i'm going is a bit organic so it takes time mm -hmm. but um it cuts two edges because now i can i can also do moves that the fans would be happy and then i can keep myself a sack or there mentally so i don't i don't go crazy for you guys right, you know? right, so right. these contracts can also drive you crazy so you have to be very very careful and yeah. that's what i'm doing but they shouldn't worry about you know because there will be a lot in store yeah yeah for them yeah so um uh desmond uh, you can unmute your mic now does that answer your question yeah man thank you very much Sakura. Thank you for your question, man. And, you know, just a reminder for anybody who's uh, new to Clubhouse, when you come up on stage, you know, uh, and you're not speaking, could you please mute your microphone so we don't, um, you don't get any unexpected noises, uh, you know, when you hear up on stage. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, Pap. Yeah? Uh, Pap, are you there? Hey, yo, 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 yo. I'm so happy. Yo, Pap. <laughs> yo, what's, yo, can you get a little bit closer to your microphone so we can hear you a little better? Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's a little better, you know. It's good. Where, 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 where are you speaking from? Hello, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped right now. I'm so hyped. Oh, you're kind of hyped right now? Like, yeah, 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 bro. I'm talking to my king, bro. The highest. Your king, the highest. Yo, 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 say the words, man. He's right here. Say the words, man. Yo, man, yo, up? yo. King Sago. Uh -huh. Bro, we, th we thank you. We so much inspired by the bars, man. I appreciate we love it. You, I do bro. this for you guys. Yo, bro, we love you today, uh, bro. Where, where, where are you? Where so, are you? Yeah, Which um, side are you? I'm actually in Kumasi right Kumasi. now. Kumasi, okay. That's great. Yeah. I, I, hopefully, I can come and do some of the promo run when I'm back. I want to come there and promote that. Yo, album. let's do that. Let's do I'm that. I'm going to touch. Let's yes. do that. Yes. Let's you have a question? That, bro. Right, right. About the um, No Pressure, I want to know uh, how you pick your album names and uh, what actually inspired the No Pressure name, actually. Yeah, so... um. If you if you follow me over the years, it's about my album titles go with how I feel at the, at the moment. So the highest, I think I broke that down. I said how I felt as an artist. Uh, Mary, definitely, you know, I lost my grandma, so I, I named the album Mary. No pressure at this point. People are getting it twisted. They feel like I I feel like I don't have no pressure. I do have it, but sometimes you need to clear your mind to be able to create, especially as a creative. You need to have freedom mentally to be able to create. So sometimes I, what I'm saying is I'm not trying to let people put pressure on me asking what I'm supposed to do. I need to calm myself down so I can do my best. So it's basically just no pressure. Just let me create and Sack Nation can enjoy. Does that answer your question, Pop? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. We Everything appreciate about you too. Is, you can just get me hyped, bro. Thanks, Yo, bro. man. Man, we thank you for that question, man, and we appreciate you for being here. <laughs> well, we're going to keep it moving Kisaki along. Love and... you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to keep it moving along, and uh, we're going to move on next to Billionaire. Really, billionaire, you, you there? 
I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. You're there, you're there. What's Can going on, me? man? I see you got the Homer Simpson, you know, like uh, Avatar, I'm man. I'm chilled, I'm chilled, I'm chilled, and I'm hyped for this, like. you hype, you hype. Yo, you got a question for Sark, man? Yeah, I got a question for him, but before I ask my question, um, I just want to say I'm so hyped for this year's album, and um, like considering the fact that the next day is our birthday, because I'm a 10th July one too. Yeah, like right, right, it's right, a right, great right, July right. this year. Wow, it's a wow, great wow. July this year. I know, yes. I know, definitely you're going to take all the hype on Twitter, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so my question is, you've been doing this for over a decade. Um, yeah. You've seen the ups, you've seen the lows, you've done did it all. Do you have like um, this? A major regret or something that you wish you, you did differently or something you have any regrets yeah that's a good question man. yeah that's good i know people normally say they don't have regrets which well, makes sense because everything makes up to who you are right but i won't say a regret but something that if i if i knew things were going to change i would have given like a thousand percent attention to it i think i was really good in school but then i started rapping oh and getting fame a bit too early. Mm -hmm. So that was in the senior high time. So my last year, music took everything for me, you know, so it was really hard for me to concentrate, which mm -hmm. is going to be like an advice to, to new artists coming up. If you're very young and you have to do your academics, just try and just get that out of the way. Yep. You have all the time when, you, when you're out of school to do whatever you want to do. I think it came in early, but that also built it around soccer year for me to work so hard to master my cadence, how I deliver, my flow, the words. So I had to start early. But at the same time, it was really hard as a, as a young child, being on TV and also going to school. So yeah. I wish I just killed that and then concentrated on music. But I wouldn't call that regret, but that's something I wish. You had no different. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, okay. 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 That's the billionaire. Does that um, thanks for having me. me. Yo, man, does, we, man does, we appreciate does. you for coming up on stage, man, you know. Uh, so thank you, you, thank you, you thank you. Wait, wait, you I'm say in Kumari, I'm in Kumasi. Oh, you Kumari? I'm in Kumasi, I Kumasi before I'm thinking about this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it's popping up there, man. But, you know, I hope... Yeah, it is, it me. is. Yeah, so, you know, they'll get your friends, you know, to use Clubhouse and whatnot, so, you know, y'all can be popping. Most deaf, most deaf, most deaf, most deaf. And right, I just well, thanks, hope thanks. this year, Sakwa, there, which is me, um, happy birthday on Twitter. That's, that's be a dope something this year for me. I got you, I got you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks, all right, bro. we're going to take... Uh, all right, thank you so much, Billionaire. Thanks for coming through. We're going to take two more questions, and then, you know, um, we're going to move it along. All right? Um, okay, I think my, the next up is Kwaku. What's going on, Kwaku? How are you doing? I'm good, bro. Yourself? Yo, yo, I'm great, man. And thanks for joining the Peter Parker Show. How, how was your day? It's been great. It's been great, man. Okay, so you got a question mm, for Big Star? Now. Yeah, I have a question actually. But before that, I want to thank Sack for not letting us down. Some of us, we support with our all and we pray he succeed in everything that he does. And it's, it's been over 10 years now and he, he hasn't let us down. We pray for more. Okay, so... My first question is, we have five albums now. How different is this one going to be? And are we supposed to get any international features on this album? And then the second question is, will this system come off this year? Mm. Yeah, so... Um, That's a really good question. So for how different albums sound, uh, myself, it's going to be hard to like, you know, speak for myself and say it sounds. Obviously, it, you have songs that you feel the circle there in there, but I think I've tried sounds that I've not done before. So definitely, you find songs there that is like a new circle there. And for features, yeah, there are a couple features on there. It's, it has more to do with the sound. If it calls for somebody worth featuring, that's what I did. And I have a few nice features in there. This year, I don't know how the COVID situation is going to be handled, but if everything should be okay by then, probably, yeah, we can do the system. So hopefully things get back to like 100 normal. Yeah, that we can do that again, because I miss it. It was it was, it was, was a big one for the first one. So I wish to continue. Thank you. Yes. All right, you pray, you pray for that then. Okay, I appreciate it. Yo, that's, uh, that, that's the answer to your question, my man. Kweku, was that yeah, was your question yeah. answer? 
All right. Thank yes. you so much for that, man. Thanks for joining up on stage. Appreciate you, man. All right. We're going to move on uh, to the last one, which is uh, Blackmore. Blackmore, what's going on? You there? Blackmore. Hi. Good evening. Hey, what's happening, man? How you doing? Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a wonderful time to speak in and hear into a video. And yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. And I believe you, you're, you're a fan of Sark. So he's right here. You got a question? I, I have a question and a plea, you know, opportunities are for grabs. So I just have to do this once and for all. Obede, hi. Hey, what's up? I did. Sakuma Sako, dear this. Oh, I know. I don't know. That'd be good. So, uh, my plea, you, you actually promised to follow me back on Twitter, but I think you forgot. <laughs> that was... <laughs> so, what is what is the... Hold on, let me let me try and get that sorted now. It's what, Sakumono? Sakot, yeah. Is it together? Uh, Sakumono is the one where Sakot is different. Is it Sakumono Sak or Sakumono Sakot? Yeah? yeah, Sakumono Sak. I just followed back, yeah? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, got, let, let me just go straight before i've seen it i've seen it thank you so much god bless you yeah it's okay. and um okay so let me just go straight you know as sack natives you are always grateful for everything you do thank i'm you. feeling a bit nervous i don't know what to say but let me just nah, go it's okay i got you <laughs> we know we know how you 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 we trust your judgment on the kind of songs you are going to choose for your album mm. but my question is, what's your target reach? How do you want this album to blow up? Comparing it to Black Love, Highest, Mary, and so forth. Um, definitely, I would want... Um, let's, we have to be realistic in the, like, as basics, right? For the dialects we use normally, you will have your people appreciate it more. Sonically, there are songs on there that I know that it's possible for the sounds to appeal to all ears. You don't have to be a Ghanaian to love it. So there are like, you know, say four or five songs that I hope and pray we are going to push, but that is not a guarantee that's going to take something somewhere, you know? Normally, you know, when people love the song, I don't know, I didn't do no promotion, but people loved it. So I have songs on there that has potential to reach the world. And I have songs that is just, you know, for my people and people who love hip hop, so it's all over the place. I try to put it out there so that just in case a sound fits a certain environment, it can find its way there. So there are songs on there for every part of the world, every type of year, what you're into, every genre. I think there is something on there to appreciate. So I'm targeting the world, basically. Are you okay? Yes, uh, yes. Are you I'm there? Of our so everything you say just makes sense, and I trust you. So Blackmore, did that answer your question, man? Look, I know we got a. We, yes, oh, we got. Does. A, I'm sorry. Can Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can. So, were you? Did that answer your question? Yes, you did. I'm just happy. Okay. That's all. Well, right, I'm so you. happy you came up on stage too, man. And we appreciate all, right, all right. the fans and all the Sark natives and, man, all the people holding right. down for Sark and supporting him. Man, we appreciate you guys and appreciate everybody who God came up in this you. room to listen. So, you know, I'm going to take a little God break and, you know, uh, you know, throw on some music for me.